Hello, you filthy savages. It's your ferocious host with the most weathers be the savage. And before we get started, I need you to hit that subscribe button at the bottom right. You can also do us both a favor and follow me on Instagram at weathers be the savage. And check out my book, The Little Kid from Detroit and the Lawless Land. All the links will be in the description box down below. Thank you. All right, back to it, y'all. Whew. Left off with that crazy old man. Now we're doing something. I would say totally new, but it's not totally new. This is a nice joint. So a rich guy with a hard on for fossils? What? Get some light in this boy. Oh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% oh. humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Because I'm not human. <laughs> now, what am I doing? I just forgot that fast with my black ass. Oh, administer his medicine. There we go. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Be lucky you have some left. a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. I'll take you to the bathroom now. There's a nice painting above the uh, mantle. I thought if I stopped holding it, I'd drop him. Oh, I wanted to see what that was like. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? 
Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. So not everybody treats their android like an asshole. This is a beautiful home. You know, y'all, sometimes when I close my eyes, all the time, I can see me being some millionaire. Having this big, nice house out in Atlanta, Georgia. Sun shining. Catfish being served. Fries. Texas toast. Iced tea. Servants. Good family. Friends. Nothing like it. I'm going to get there. Thank you, Marcus. What the fuck is that? Television. Tensions continue to rise in the Arctic since Russia unilaterally declared the region part of its national territory. Several Russian warships have taken position in the Barrick Sea since Saturday. And the Russian flag now flies over the Arctic. The Russian president repeated in a speech to the Duma that the Arctic belongs to Russia as a matter of fact. On the other hand, last night, the American ambassador... Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Mm, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. Find something to do. So that's basically go explore. Shakespeare. What are you reading? Uh, Macbeth. It's one of the books you recommended. So, what do you think? Human emotions are intriguing. Though, I can't really say that I fully understand them. Humans don't understand them either. They rule our lives, but we have no idea why they make us feel like beggars or kings. Life without emotions wouldn't be worth living. True. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. Make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. His voice is like gold. Let's go to the studio. No homo. Oh shit, I gotta take this his, his old ass. They don't get him. There you go. Let's cool. see where we left off. Remove the sheet.
That looks like a brick of cocaine. Probably is. Pablo over there likes to snort. Looks like me, kinda. Or the, the game, me. Marcus. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Mm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a Me. try. Try painting something. I used to like drawing Paint, until I, I fell in love with writing. Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Look beyond Do your programming. To me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Getting all out of this serious shit. So my neighbor, I terrorize my neighbors. So she's uh, engaged, and her husband to be is studying, you know, across the world. <laughs> so I always make fun of her and say, "Oh, what is he studying? Another woman?" And I came up with this clever way to say it: "What is he studying abroad?" <laughs> Oh my God, that that's me at my finest. That that shit was clever. I don't care what nobody say. Hey. Oh my God. Hey, Dad. Leo. Why are you shaking like that? You druggy? No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. Been a while, right? 
Yeah, he's you on drugs. Right? You don't no. look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Fucking hell no. Again? No. What no. The money I just gave you. He's a drug addict. It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't <laughs> lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Because you're a drug addict, dick yeah. face. Yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son. Right? Tell me, Take care of you is getting you high? Way. Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. Cause I wouldn't give you money for drugs. Never me. Let's continue. Not gonna end it just yet, you guys. Androids allowed. Well, welcome back. Thought wrong, fuck face. <laughs> well, look at this game being racially sensitive. The black people have no uh, criminal records. First white guy does, though. Okay. Y'all thinking, y'all thinking. People complain about anything these days. Unemployed. Jonah Graham. 1887. You. Damn, you were born in 95 and looked like that? Well, for me, 95 wasn't that long ago. Narcotic supplier. <laughs> Domestic abuse. Damn. So this is where the disenfranchised come, huh? Oh, okay, I already did it. Yeah, 
He kind of looked like Adrian Broner. Samuel McRae. At least he got a job. Gotta check I look good, you know. Come on. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Oh, I recognize that voice. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? Okay, <laughs> well... No. Where? Never mind. Lieutenant Anderson, I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Oh. <sighs> Did you say homicide? <laughs> I'm going to end it right here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The ferocious host with the most is signing off.